Jacob here is currently the 14th of December 2021. This is going to be this week's vendor set. At the front desk vendor this week, they're just selling the Invisible Hand. This is actually the only gun in the game that has Allegro on it still to this day. Um, due to the fact that Allegro was moved ages ago, back before Warlords was Im implemented, um, or pretty much when Warlords was implemented, that's when he lost his talent and a lot of other talents. But if you guys don't have this weapon, highly recommend picking it up, mostly for nostalgia purposes, and also it's one of the more unique named weapons in the game. I'm going to scroll through a few more items in case you guys need any of this stuff. But overall, that's about it for the front desk. Now if you go under the helipad and go right here to these two double doors, you will see the clan quarters. Shout out to Disciples of Doom and Kamikaze Von Doom. And here's the clan quarters. This week they're selling me Baker's Dozen. If you guys do not have this weapon, I highly recommend picking this one up for one. Due to the fact it's one of the most used rifles in the game, or named rifles in the game that's used. It has max damage charts off cover, and you can max out that critical hit damage, or even rifle damage, with the optimization station. And essentially, you're pretty much good to go, because you get one roll on this, which you can make max for critical hit damage, or rifle, then use optimization to max out the rest, and you have a triple stat perfect weapon. So if you guys don't have this, highly recommend picking it up, especially if you're a new player. I'm going to scroll through a few more of these items in case you guys want to pick this stuff up. But overall, that's going to be about it for the first two vendors at the base. Now, usually I cut here. Um, I do in some of the videos in the vendors, but uh, due to the fact how fast the Series X actually is, in an instant, it pretty much throws you right into the settlement, and there's barely any loading time at all. But this is the theater settlement. This week, there's some boomstick with pretty low stats. They are selling max rifle damage if you guys need that, so if you want to put this on the Baker's Dozen, if you don't have max rifle damage, essentially you can just pretty much flip these two and boom, you you can just have it just like that. Um, but overall, that's about it for the theater settlement, but it's pretty nice to have a max rifle roll, especially if you don't have the Baker's Dozen and you don't have max rifle damage. Next is going to be the campus. This is going to be the final PvE zone besides... Uh, the DZs, which technically they are PvE zones, and they're not, but you guys will see what I mean, especially if you're new. They're not located in the DZ, they're just located before you enter the DZ, so technically um, they're PvE zones, but you need DZ resources to buy them. But this is the campus vendor, and they are selling max marksman rifle damage this week. So if you guys need that for your stat library, would highly recommend grabbing it. Also, if you guys are trying to make a crit build, um, or a beginner crit build just trying to find some pieces for an all red, you guys could use this as a holster. Now it's going to be the DZs. First, it's going to be the DZ West main entrance. Then we'll go over DZ South and then East and then hit the final vendors in New York. This is DZ West. Keep this in mind, like I said, the vendors are different here and you will need resources. To acquire these resources, you're going to have to go in the DZ and pretty much deconstruct items and extract it. And also, you're going to have to open tiny little boxes scattered around the DZ so you can get these currency. And they are selling Baker's Dozen this week as well. This one has max rifle damage also, um, but why spend the resources when you could spend normal credits at the clan vendor and get it just like that? Um, but overall, nothing really worth picking up. Um, mostly the fact they're already selling that gun in the clan vendor and you don't really have to spend the resources to get it. Next is going to be DZ South, main entrance. Come on. Here's DZ South. This week there's some of the Anarchist Cookbook. If you guys don't have this, recommend picking this one up actually um, if you're new. But at the same time, if you have resources and you like don't want to spend them, um, you could probably find better ones this. But it already has status and armor. You know, some people use this for status like armor regen builds or total armor builds. Um, but the armor is just above average. But if you're starting out and you're really just trying to find one and you can't get your hands on it, then grab it. But at the same time, you could farm golden gear, loot allocations, and pretty much pick up a better one and farm with your friends and probably find a better one. Next is going to be the critical hit chance roll in the backpack if you guys need that for your max attribute. But that's going to be about it for DZ South. In the final DZ, unless they ever decide to add another one, uh, it's going to be DZ East. Hostiles. 
And this one does take the longest to get to, especially the interns. It kind of sucks, but I'm just going to run up here to the door. And she's right here. This week she's selling the Black Friday. If you guys don't have this weapon, highly recommend picking this one up. For one, it's one of the more um, requested items I know people have been trying to get for quite a long time now. So if you do not have this, highly recommend picking this one up. Um, for one, also it has max damage shots out of cover. You can change the headshot damage to something else to your liking. And then optimize the LMG damage. And essentially you have a pretty awesome, perfectly unhinged M249 LMG. I'm going to scroll through a few more of these items in case you guys want to pick any of this stuff up. But that's going to be about it for DC. Uh, the next location, that is if you own the Warlords of New York expansion, which I'm sure most of you guys do by now. Uh, but if you don't, obviously you're not going to be able to get here. Uh, but just go to New York and pretty much they'll throw you right in Haven and essentially you're all good to go. Now we're at Haven. This is going to be the first vendor. Keep this in mind, you don't sell any named items yet, unless they update it. But they are selling max assault rifle damage if you guys need that. And they're selling max armor if you guys need that also for gloves. Now if you take a left through here, go to the green tent. The final vendor is down here, which is Roy Benitez. And this week, he's selling max headshot damage for shotguns, if you guys need that. But overall, just a few items you guys might want to pick up this week. Especially the Baker's Dozen, if you're new. Um, that's a pretty decent pickup. I know a lot of people have been trying to get that for quite a while now. And also, the Black Friday, which is in the DZ. So if you've been saving your resources, waiting for that to pop up, I would highly recommend hopping over there and grabbing it. But thanks all for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe for more Division 2 content. And I'll catch you guys all later. BTS!